open sheet map. Okay. Oh, you? Okay, nice. So open sheet map is a open database uh, built in um, 2004 by Steve Coast in the uh, UK. And he, he was very angry because he did not have open data from the government. So he decided to bootstrap a project to build a, a geographical database. So uh, in, since 2004, so next year we will have our 10th birthday. Uh, so what you are seeing here is the work of more than 1.5 million people's uh, or accounts around the road of people who are just drawing the maps by hand and with some big imports of open data from government and some firms. So here is uh, Avenue des Champs-Élysées in Paris. So you have a lot of data, you have cinemas, you have the exit of metro station, you have metro station, you have uh, traffic lights, you have address, you have bank, you have many data. So we are here to talk about APIs. You have to know that OpenStreetMap is a database. There is a lot of people who are calling us in order to have just uh, background maps, like these maps, for example, who is showing all point of interest for bicycle, for cycling. You have also transport map, uh, who is um, background maps for all transport around, around you. You have um, rendering, a tile rendering from MapQuest with a, a film from AOL, uh, was a famous one we call B before Google Maps. And uh, you, we have a humanitarian uh, rendering who is built in France and hosting in France in order to help HOT, who is the humanitarian open street map team, uh, to help some people in Philippines, for example, to today, or Haiti, or many countries who have some troubles. So we are here to talk about APIs. You must to know that all the data, all the documentation, all information you need about OpenStreetMap is on our wiki. So if you need information about uh, our API, who is a uh, REST API, but who allow you that read, and but also uh, write in our database, you have all the details here yeah, of the capabilities of, of the APIs, uh, of, the, of our APIs. So uh, you have all the, the, the request and post and so on. But um, last year I talked about this API and uh, this API have a, a little problem that it has some restriction. In order to not overload our servers, you can download more than 50, thousand objects at a time. Uh, I can show you the restriction. Okay, so you can have more than 5,000 points, GPS points, for example. Uh, you can have more than uh, 2,000 way nodes by, by way. And you can, you can download more than 50,000 Objects. So there is a lot of people who are all today working on uh, another API called Overpass API. In OpenStreetMap, you must understand that uh, you have three primitives, some three elementary, uh, three, three types of elements. You have nodes. A node is a tree. A node is a train station, for example. A node is a a light, a lit in, in the street, for example. We have ways. Ways is streets, is building. We don't have, we don't have uh, the concept of polygons in OpenStreetMap because it is a, a key value database. If you want to draw a polygon, draw a, a forest, for example, you just draw a line, a closed line, and you just have a key called natural and the value forest. And this is your forest, the polygon of your forest. And there is a, 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 um, a last element, who is um, relation. And relation 
uh, allow you to have relation between objects. So in order to draw or to map a bus line, for example, we put in the relation all the streets, the bus is uh, um, on, in, on, for example. We put also uh, the bus stops and uh, the network of the operator and so on. So what you are seeing here is just uh, one request on one node, and this node is a train station from Transilien uh, called uh, Musée d'Orsay, and you have all the details of this node here. So you have for one hackathon uh, of, the, of Transilien the level of completeness. You have the Steve zone, number one. You have the name of the station. You have the official name in, of the station in other open database from our ATP or Transilien. You have the operator, you, are, you have uh, what type of station it is, uh, of public transport it is, so it is a station. It is a railway station. The reference of this station is RERC. And uh, in the database of SNCF, it is, uh, it is just C. Uh, the type in the database of RATP is RER minus, and uh, you have the UIC reference here. So you can just download or just show all the objects of your train station because all the objects, lines, so ways and nodes, are in a relation called GAR-IRC Musée d'Orsay. So in this relation, you have uh, the ways uh, the footways, you have um, the rails, you have the entrance, you have some trees, you have some AED, automatic electro external, automatic external defibrillator. You have elevators, you have stairs, and in each stairs are many uh, steps. Um, and you can download all this data through the API. So all this XML data is just for describe all the objects you have here in orange. So you can download really each object of the database and have some requests. But this is the simple API and I talk about the the overpass API. So overpass is a special API, an extended API of OpenStreetMap. There is a lot of people who ask us, oh, I just need, for example, the RERC line. But all the station, all the rails, all objects around this um, trend line. So we set them, just go on overpass minus turbo.eu. And these websites uh, allow you to type on the left your request through the API. So what we are doing here is just a way to show you how many stations are really complete, completely mapped in the uh, um, open database of OpenStreetMap, but for the hackathon to extract all the station. So here we request an, amp in, on, an output in the JSON format. We request only nodes, and but also ways, and so on. And we have also a field for the CSS in order to represent the data with the color and to show difference between all stations. So if I execute if I run this, I run this uh, request, this is all the stations of the RERC line. So you can click on this one, and you have all the description of the data in the OpenStreetMap database. So these stations have a completeness level one, so there is not enough details in order to have accessibility, uh, for example. 
We are in stiff zone four. The name of the session is Hermann Aubon. The operator is SNCF and so on and so on and so on. And we also have link between the Wikipedia brother and sister. And so we can link the two database uh, and have some uh, uh, details uh, from Wikipedia. So this is the details on this node and you can download the data here in the JSON format. So here you can see that OpenStreetMap is not just a map but an open database. So feel free to download our data and I will show you the last one is um, the line C, who already have seen this type of synoptics in the RERC. So we can now automatically generate this type of synoptics from the, the relation. So you have all the stations and we have a web service that allow you to mm -mm, public transport. I will try the demonstration in live. Okay. So you put here tuk, 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 the network. We put um, RER, the line number C, the operator SNCF. And I can generate this synoptic, it's not just map. I can generate the synoptic, and you have automatically the description of the line. So if we re respect the sequence of all station. Uh, this is because my screen is a little bit uh, compact, but you have a, a, a way to generate if you are an op a transport operator, to generate from OpenStreetMap if we respect the sequence, all the way to have simple uh, um, representation of your line. So this will be my last demonstration, and if you have some question, I can answer you. Thank you. times per minute or hour or how is it? Then oh, you can, with the overpass API, you ask the question for the overpass API? Or oh, for the first API, we don't have, we, we just have one server for all, for worldwide. The database is on one server. We have one slave, but we just have two server, one in production. So. We can't have a lot of requests on this server through the API. So this server is dedicated to write and priority is to write in the database. So the first, my first answer is that. So there is much more uh, uh, read in our database than write. So for the second part of the, of the answer, we developed this overpass API on all the servers who are synchronized each minute in order to have another way to just read. Overpass API is just for read uh, the OpenStreetMap database. So you can request um, many things. You have, um, oh, I thought of the good, uh, on, the grid, on the good screen. Um, mm, 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 mm. We have some example, but not on this. I delete them um, for the help. Export. Oh, my screen is a little bit. Uh, mm, mm, mm. You have the details. You can request a, a bounding box. So if you have your position, you can request all the data around you, or just data on in the bounding box. You can just center your data. Uh, request your data around a center, if for example. And the uh, last one is to request only on key-valued data, for example. So um, 
You can have also your own op overpass API server. So you can uh, download the, on GitHub all the sources and build your own, your own API on your own territories, for example, your own countries, your own thematics. You can't have only streets and not trees, for example. So you can have a more fast, uh, faster um, server or more, more answer, for example, uh, if you just restrict the data on what you are focusing. If you just want POI, for example, just download the data, the POI data in OpenStreetMap. Okay? Yeah, I have a question of on uh, overpass here. Um, on your request here, you seem to have like um, you have just uh, nodes and IDs, but that means if you want to have if you want to have the information about each ID, each node, you have to make an additional request. And why was this choice? No, we uh, don't on the you you have all the, the answer for all the data, all the values, all the key values on the nodes. If the nodes is, uh, uh, if you have 100, I, I don't know, 100 values on the node, you are, you, the, the API give you all the, det all the details of this node. Yeah, but here on, on the request you have here on the right, yeah? uh, you have like, if you go down, I think, you have like a node with, with only IDs. And so if you want to have info Imagine the name of each ID to know what you're dealing with. Yeah. You have to make an additional request? No, this is the same request, but the all nodes are here okay. with uh, IDs here. In, uh, on OpenStreetMap files, you have description of all nodes, afterwards always, and afterwards all relation. So uh, on the request here, for example, all the IDs you see here are described uh, upper. So this is just a sequence which will just uh, tell you in which order these nodes appears in the database. It is really, really important because if you have a, a street in one way, you have the, um, the, the, the way you, you, you run in these in this streets. And uh, if you don't have this key value one way, for example, you can run in the two ways. So it is really important for us to have this sequence, but this node is described upper, and afterwards you can have relation. I don't think there is relation, but no, there is I no meant, relation. I meant about those nodes. Yes, they are described okay, upstairs. Great. This okay. is relation. Okay, great. This is a relation right. at the bottom of the of the file. Any question? Nice. Thank you for attention. <laughs>